Hello everyone. The following video will demonstrate how to log in to Out of 7 and to book a teacher for conferences. The first step is to use a desktop or laptop computer because this process will not work on the iOS app or the Android app. On your regular computer, you'll need to open up your internet browser, whether it's Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. In the address bar, type in isburn.ch. Press return, and it'll bring you to this website. On the far right side, there's an option that says Portal. Select Portal, and then Auto7 is right here. This is the parent portal right there. Your username is your email address that you have registered with ISBurn. And then for your password, if you don't remember it for some reason, there's this link right here that says click here if you have forgotten your password. Now that you are logged in, select conferences in the upper right corner. When you do that, you will see two windows show up. On the left side is a list of your children and their teachers. On the right side is your schedule as you start to select teachers and make appointments. This is for Friday, November 9th, and then the times are in one hour increments. The following directions are for secondary students and parent conferences. Right now in this window, this is my PYP student. I'm leaving this one up just so that you have a reminder on keeping things open so you have something to compare your times to. So over here on the left side, this is my NYP student, the class, and then the teacher. I'm going to select that teacher and then scroll down and select refresh calendar. And now I know what's available to me. For NYP DP conferences, they are teachers are available with 10 minute increments. So if this is one that you want, you just click on it and then just click save. And then you're done. And then repeat the same with all the other teachers. Now, I just did one slot, one teacher. But if you are the type that needs everything to be displayed to help you organize the times better, then you can do that as well. Another benefit of selecting all teachers at once is that you see everyone's availability. Not every teacher has the same availability as what you're thinking. So if there's anything in a white box, that means they are not available. Another recommendation is to, if you need to split up because you have multiple children and it's difficult trying to get to all these conferences, you can just um, assign either yourself or your partner and make some rearrangements that way. There are a lot of people clicking and using this website, so there might be some times where you have to just wait. And I think I'll add one more teacher, but this time I'm going to exclude myself from that conference. Okay, so now looking at this column, this is my NYP student. This conference I'm going to, this conference my wife is going to. And then this one we are both going to. So you have options like that. If it turns out that you made a mistake, you can just click on that appointment and make that change.
and you can also choose delete meeting. When you are all done, go ahead, select refresh calendar just to make sure that everything's up to date. You can then select view appointments PDF. When you do that, you will get uh, a nice PDF printout, or you can save the PDF to your phone or email it to yourself. And what's nice about this PDF is it, it also has the room numbers over there on the right side. Let's say that you have completed your schedule for one of your children. When you click on one of these appointments, you can get more information, or you can just click and hover over on top of the segment and it'll give you the information as well. But let's say that something happened with your family schedule or work schedule, then you can delete the appointment by clicking on it and then choose delete meeting. Or if one of you can't go, you can just unselect that. But as long as someone is going to the appointment, it doesn't really matter. So if you need to delete, that appointment, select that, are you sure? Yes. And then it disappears there. And just to make absolutely sure everything's okay, you wanna click on refresh calendar. Anytime you make a change, always click on refresh calendar. And then you can also select view appointments PDF to print that out.